cup of tea. You don't want to introduce the other team, right? Actually, nope. yeah, go ahead. yeah, but there's a bit of action here. Um, Tiny and Omnite, the two big balls coming in, just smashing Bat Rider at the back of the head. We have Negi on the side of Tiny, and Bat Rider looks like he could go down. He does have the Firefly. There was a Channel Fortune and the Toss, not gonna get the kill. Instead, Klinks's Searing Arrows will bring it down. So that's prophecy on the Klinks. Uh, that's a smoke rotation now. To answer your question right after that, they seem to be going for it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. There's got the X-Mark coming in and the Torrent as well. So Tiny is pretty dead here. T actually picks off the last hit. Pretty clean gank right there. Right up. Kind of thing there. I think uh, DDR kind of just got a bit impatient with, like, with the Torrent. If he kind of walked up close enough to get the X-Mark off, I think they might have either got a kill or forced Oh, but here comes but that, the big rotation. Yeah, right as you said that. But Meld in the corner and now he's gonna run. No mana for refraction. So that means once the next avalanche comes, no, it's gonna be the toss into the heal bomb instead. Omni Knight picks up the kill for 500 gold. And uh, Klings gets a kill on the Juggernaut. So that's equally as good for... <coughs> My bad. That's... And it looks like... That's later. Yeah, DDR here being caught out. But oh, the bling last. So that was the bling dagger we've been talking about. The boat is gonna hit the tiny and there goes one of their big calls on the side of Aggressive 5. And Max is gonna take this advantage. So I think getting that early uh, Roshan and Aegis is gonna let Max come back into the game very comfortably. But in the top lane... Mm, yep. Right as you say, that looks like Jakiro will go down to that auto attack. Klings, however, stuck in the corner, gets dusted. He's basically dead, but can he get a counter hit kill in advance? No, he cannot. Juggernaut takes a bit of damage, but went for that's, um, that Vanguard level 1. Uh, the TA? Yeah, the TA. Okay. I think, yeah, the TA might be going for the blink here, but... Oh, I'm not sure. He does need... Yeah, there was a smoke there. Uh, it just got broken when Tiny went into range of uh, TA. I hear Lasso, it's gonna be all the way at the corner, but the Oracle save was huge. The Omni Slash not gonna do enough damage to the Omni Knight. The boat comes down, Oracle's out, he's finally gone, and Klinks is basically dead. There's the X marks the spot. Will he go down? Yes, the crit from the Juggernaut brings him down, but all the way at the other corner, we have Slana, who I just heard the crush to kill the team. Will it be enough? Looks like it will be because he will survive, and he comes back into the fight with the Repel. Doesn't have any levels of bash, instead, it's full movement speed. Will Bat Rider die today? The Klinks picks off the last hit right at the corner and uh, we just saw the Juggernaut spin to TP out of the bot lane. Yeah, that was really good patience by uh, Haunter Puck Puck. Just sitting on the high ground waiting for that crush initiation and once he got that onto the TA, the entire team on Aggressive 5 reacted really well, just getting that avalanche onto him and then just controlling him and trying to kill him off and forcing the enemy team to fight in a place where they're not comfortable. And yeah, and oh, we, we missed the kill. My bad on that. Well, oh, Don't our worry, it was, it was just one hit. She just blinked Mel Strike and Omni Knight's a dead person. Yeah, I mean, th that's what you get for having um, a support that isn't that... I mean, Omni Knight isn't that tanky of a support. Um, he's, if you were to consider him tanky. All right. Yeah, he is going to be Yeah, so tough. Avalanche gonna miss. There's a bit of preemptive Firefly. Blink is up. He could go in for Lasso, but look at that. The Slayer goes in for a two-man crash. The toss was burnt. Bear Rider goes down. The Klinks doesn't get caught in anything. The boat comes in, hits on tree, but Guardian Angel to back them up. Slala doesn't have blink because of that liquid fire, but he's gonna have in one second. And only except the Omni Knight comes in by the toss and uh, is saved. The Jakiro falls to the Slada. And where is the Klinks in all this? He's actually just standing there, almost AFK, just pot shotting everybody. The toss comes in to cancel the TP. TA is gonna go down. Tiny picks off the last hit by smashing her so hard it breaks the fraction of reality. A false promise there. Oh, we see the Tiny jump in with his blink, but the U Scepter of Divinity is there. However, the boat comes in into the lasso. It all comes through. And will this be a double kill? The Slala coming in to pick off the kill on the Jakiro. Yes, there goes one, and there goes two. Mad dudes, middle tower. Everyone, go, go. Tiny just slightly too eager. Very smart play, rotating around. Now he gets spotted. The Klinks as well gets spotted, dusted, and they go for the Klinks instead. The Slala gets used up. That is what we've been talking about. So he's out of the fight. Klinks almost got two kills. 
but still falls in the end. Juggernaut comes in to block. Won't be good enough. But um, the TA there with the X mark as well picks off the kill. Ooh, Juggernaut got the kill. The last hit. Okay then. That was an excellent smoke. That was such a. Uh, they seem to be satisfied with their business. Actually, no. Here comes everybody on the TA. But the mods and stuff that we've been seeing come out. Slada gets Glimmer kicked at the last second. The Garden Angel does not hit him, so he falls. Kings as well not being Garden Angel. Where is the Juggernaut? Actually, let's focus down here on the Yomi Knight who does get lassoed back in because the Kings is just gonna go 2v1 and fall. Yomi Knight falls next off the bat and TA chases the Oracle. Fates Edict. Well, I have to interrupt you there because the smoke has been broken. Tiny comes in. Easy, but gets used immediately. Slada misses the crash. TA going man mode with that monster stuff. We see the flaming lasso onto the Klings. It doesn't get dispelled. He's gonna fall next. Yes, he goes down. Where is the tiny? He manages to blink out at the last moment. Oh, Omina I mean, just melts down to the melt. And uh, X marks the spot, brings the Oracle down to his demise. Looks like he didn't predict that one. But uh, the tiny, by just. Juggernaut's illusions are here. That's the monster style. Templar Assassin with the Aegis and the Bloodthorn. Here, even more X marks. They're gonna do the same thing. He's gonna go in with the Meld Harass and all of that burst damage to force the supports home so that they can't defend. Slaughter goes in for one man crush, but there's the Aegis of Immortality on the TA. So they're completely fine there. The boat comes in. The Omni Slash not bouncing on the correct target, but eventually, one still goes down. We see the Tiny being lassoed all the way out as the Clinks gets forced back, zoned all the way out by the Templar Assassin, who is here again. There we go. The Omni Knight falls the buyback there by the Oracle. Will that be enough? The buyback by the Tiny. TA is now stuck in the corner, the Kanka being tossed back, but the TA, he's too manly, he's too strong, he goes in with all of that minus armor, the Tiny gets up in the torrent and dies as well, GG being called, with those buybacks, the Rampage actually given to the TA as she dived in with that Master Star to pick off the Oracle, so game one, won by Eho, what are your words for that my friend?